On June 8, 1964, Israel deliberately attacked an American intelligence ship, the USS Liberty. At about 2 p.m. that day, two Israeli Mirage 3s attacked the Liberty with cannon and rockets, and just few minutes later, two Mystiers dropped napalm bombs due to which ship caught fire, and then at 2.35 p.m., Israeli torpedo motor boats fired five torpedoes, out of which one struck. This attack killed 34 crew members and wounded 171 others. Israel apologized, saying it mistakenly thought that the USS Liberty was an Egyptian ship, but survivors rejected the Israeli statement and claimed that the attack was on purpose, and they were right, because Israelis first identified the Liberty as a US ship at about 5.15 a.m. that morning. Seven other reconnaissance flights also confirmed the identity of Liberty. During attack, the ship attempted to contact the 6th Fleet, but Israelis were jamming their distress frequencies. According to victims, a huge American flag was waving at the top of the ship, so there was no chance of any mistake. The point is that there was a, something in those days called Operation Cyanide during the Six-Day War. Operation Cyanide was this diabolical plan to send this sophisticated, the most sophisticated ship in the U.S. Navy to be sunk by the Israelis and blamed on Egypt to justify nuking is Egypt and starting Eretz Israel, you know, from the Nile to the Euphrates. That's what it was all about. Somehow the Israelis managed to screw it up. You know, they, they hit him with everything, but they weren't able to sink this old tub. And then after it didn't sink, Johnson ordered it to go to Malta, days and days away, thinking, hoping that it would sink en route, because they had to sink the stupid thing and keep it secret until they could blame Egypt for it. But it wouldn't sink. So then the cover-up, you know, the heavy, heavy cover-up started. Isaac Kidd threatening them, you boys will never say a word about this to yourselves, to your families. If you do, I will send you to the brig or worse. He was under orders from McCain, Admiral McCain, who was closely tied to Arthur Goldberg, the Supreme Court Justice. He was a United Nations ambassador and just an Israeli agent in the right. US government. The crucial intelligence came from the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Arthur Goldberg. He warned Tel Aviv that the United States had the audio tape which revealed Israeli pilots knew it was an American ship before they attacked. The tape was quietly buried. The only one who didn't go along with the cover-up was Admiral Moore, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs. He stuck to his guns and said it was uh, deliberate thing. I simply cannot accept the claim that uh, the attack on the Liberty was uh, a result of a misidentification because I will never accept the fact that the professionalism of the Israeli forces who have uh, been in uh, several wars uh, since World War II and have fared extremely well that they uh, couldn't, uh, did not identify this ship. Now yes. Johnson, you know Johnson, <laughs> He was controlled <clears throat> by Arthur Krim, chairman of the Democrat Party Finance Committee. He was also the head of United Artists Studios in Los Angeles. Matilda was his wife. Now, Matilda Krim was not Jewish, but she had married a Jewish terrorist, uh, David Dannon, and he was a member of the Irgun, the Menachem Begin terror group. She was Johnson's mistress and controlled him through sex. And Arthur Krem, the husband, controlled Johnson through money. I think the uh, Liberty scandal is the blackmail weapon, though, that Israel uses against America. Because America has never been able to say no to Israel ever since that thing happened. Especially when they deliberately attacked the USS Liberty in the 1970s. That is incorrect. Do not peddle conspiracy theories in our event. That is not acceptable. Do not say that. 
Okay, Dean Rusk disagrees with you, and he was the Secretary of State at the time, but that's fine. I never myself accepted the Israeli purported explanation. Um, accidents don't occur through repeated attacks by surface vessels and by aircraft. It obviously was a decision taken pretty high up in, on the Israeli side. I'm uh, alive, alive from uh, the USS Liberty. Uh, I served on that ship in uh, 1967 when it was attacked by the Israelis. I know the Israelis, uh, this is my opinion, uh, planned the attack on us and they know it too. And uh, I believe our government knows it too. So 